Every moment brings us closer to the new year and a chance to start fresh. So while I prep some new panels, reorganize my studio, visit an art museum and make some art, I wanted to take a minute to talk about something really important to me and that I hope is valuable for you. It's this idea that a year could change your life, a year of better decisions, even a single new habit or just one major choice could change everything. A year could take you from a terrible place to a much better one, could make you happier, healthier, more financially stable, or better at your craft. It really might be the case that a single year could change everything. 12 short months might be all that separates you from who you are now from who you want to be. Welcome to another episode of my Artist Diaries series, and a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. The end of the year is always a reflective time for me, a chance to look back on the past year and figure out what I did right, what I did wrong, and what I want to do differently going forward. As I was coming up with my goals for 2024, which you can find in my last video, I was thinking about the year that started all of this for me, 2020. We all know that 2020 was a really weird year. It was the worst and best year of some people's lives. And the choices that I made that year had an enormous impact on my life. And I know for a fact that I would be a very different person without them. I changed career directions and began to implement one single habit that would change everything. And as cliche as it sounds, that one habit was content creation, making these videos. Creating content gave me financial stability, a realistic path to realizing my dreams of becoming a full-time artist, and completely reshaped the vision that I had for the rest of my life. I want you to think about what small change you could start implementing in the new year that could lead to some big changes in your own life. Maybe that's content creation like me, or maybe it's creating a new portfolio piece every week to finally be able to apply with confidence to those animation jobs that you want. Or maybe it's making a comic a day or running in the mornings or getting up earlier. Just one simple change that could take you a little bit closer to the person that you want to be. I don't really do New Year's resolutions anymore. I know they work for some people, but I'm definitely among the 90% of people that make this big long list and then forget what's on it by March. It's honestly a little bit of a problem. And, man, I don't know. I think most of this stems from writing a list in the first place. Too many new changes to my life and things kind of fall apart. I struggle to implement these changes and stay consistent, which is really the most important thing. I don't think any... I don't think any new goal or habit is worth it if you can't be consistent with it. I think the real power comes from staying consistent in life and in the goals that you have. If you can't do that, then just, I don't know, don't bother. But a single change, not even a goal, but a habit that's different and much more doable than a long laundry list. A single habit is something that you can start implementing right now, even before January 1st. I really don't think that you need to wait for the new year to change your life. You could start right now. It will take a while to pay off and it will be hard work and I really want to emphasize that. This is not a magic bean, this is not waving a magic wand, this is, this is work. It's going to take work and it's going to suck sometimes, I'm not going to lie. I don't think the new year has to be this big production where you make a whole new Notion dashboard or a page in your bullet journal. You can implement these changes immediately. And honestly, sometimes I wonder if making a big production out of the new year and the desires that we have for it just make it less likely that we'll achieve any of these things because of the extra pressure that we're putting on ourselves. Anyway, in 2020, I implemented a new habit. I started making videos. The plan was to do this once a week, which, to be honest, took about six months to fully happen. But every single week for two years, I woke up on Monday and figured out what I would post by the end of the week. And sometimes I did this, sometimes I did not. But I just kept making videos over time. There was no magic formula to my growth, no hacking the algorithm. It was just work. And that habit paid off two years in when I was finally able to go full time. I've told this story before, and it's not special, it's not unreplicatable. I am not the smartest or the most talented person out there, but I do like to think that I'm, I don't know, pretty dedicated. 
I'm not shit talking myself for no reason here. I'm trying to say that you could change your life too, that it's possible, that all that you need to do is implement a single new habit in your life and stick with it. That consistency is what you are really after here. That's what changes your life. Just the continued effort that you put in over time, that's what has the impact. So don't bother with a whole laundry list of resolutions unless you are really, 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 really sure that you can follow through. Just pick one thing and keep at it, even when you fail. I realize that advice might seem a bit oversimplified or reductionist. I get it. You have a lot of stuff that you want to get done, a lot of goals to achieve. It can seem impossible to pick just one, but try anyway. Maybe pick one that has the chance to turn into something greater, to totally change your life like my habit did mine. Or pick one that you just don't want to live without anymore. Or even just pick one that seems like it's the easiest to implement. But whatever you pick, you need to want it. You need to be fully invested or it'll slip away and you won't be consistent anymore as the year marches on and your life gets busy again. As I've been talking, the footage that you've been seeing is of me kind of getting my life together and preparing for the new year. My studio was a huge mess, so I've been gradually reorganizing that, hoping to make a studio tour video pretty soon here. I also took a little trip to the De Young Art Museum here in San Francisco with some friends and it was gorgeous. I only wish that there was more art on display. It's kind of insane to me that these museums are so massive on the outside, but I feel like the actual space the art takes up is pretty small. The Met in New York City is the obvious exception. It's big and there is a lot to see and these things are definitely linked. The museum trip really inspired me though to get my ass in gear when it comes to making art and to keep working on a ton of new paintings, none of which are finished yet, I'm sorry. Kind of like this one. The one that you've been seeing me work on is a study of an Eric Bowman painting. Eric Bowman is an artist that is currently alive. He's alive and well, posting on Instagram. I'm just a huge fan of his work, so I've been studying it for my own benefit. I will not sell this piece, obviously. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been having fun, guys. I've been having fun. I'm sitting on a lot of painting footage right now while I work on getting these finished, and I really struggle to share it when it's not done yet. But I'm doing that in this video, and I hope that you like it, or at least you can see where it's gonna go. This was a pretty casual video today. It's the end of the year, and a bunch of creators like myself are scrambling to get projects done so we can take the next few weeks off. I hope that you enjoyed this video. But before I let you go, I wanted to say thank you to the sponsor of this week's video, Squarespace, who has been by far just the best partner a creative like me can ask for. Squarespace is an award-winning website platform that allows you to design a beautiful website for selling your art, displaying a portfolio, hosting courses, and even writing a blog. Using their Fluid Engine feature, you can drag and drop images and text and videos and a whole bunch of stuff to your heart's content. I was able to design a website that I'm really proud of in just a few hours. And it's not only pretty to look at, but easy to change when I want to promote a new print collection or my email list or whatever new thing I'm working on. Squarespace makes it really easy to display your work, sell digital or physical products, and really be a hub for everything that you do online. Their plans are affordable and their customer service is award winning. You can get 10% off your first order of a website or domain by going to squarespace.com slash Kelsey Rodriguez and using code Kelsey Rodriguez at checkout. You could also just click the link in the description.